Good evening, and thanks for joining us here in the charge. You tune into the Market Beast edition. Yes, Sergio Pelo Compadre is speaking, and I'd like to explore Tesla once again. This is going to be specifically for Tesla. The title suggests maybe $850. I realize it's a down day, but for those who have a keen eye in the charts will understand that it's likely Tesla will reach that level if one level holds. We're going to go over that in this video, and I'm going to reveal a new pattern. Well, it's kind of the same pattern, but I'm going to reveal a pattern for you all. So if you're just stopping in, welcome. Consider hitting the subscribe button if we actually get this right, or if you find any valuable information in the content. Lawyer subscribers, welcome back. The YouTube algorithm is picking up on your uh, engagement, your appropriate thumbs and comments. Thank you for supporting the channel with that. So let's go ahead and get into the charts here to see what we have. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? All right. So today is February the 2nd, 2021, and the current price of Tesla is going to be $708.30. It's down approximately 1.2% for the day. Markets are currently open if you're looking at the screen there. So here's the pattern that I found. It's similar to what we've already gone over, but here's the actual outline of the pattern. Okay, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, what you are witnessing on the screen is going to be a descending triangle. This is a bearish pattern, assuming that it's within this pattern, where it finds resistance at the top of that line, finds support at the bottom of that line, and I think you get the gist. It just kind of bounces up and down within this pattern. Now, in most cases, it is a bearish pattern, but there is some cases where it actually breaks above the resistance line. That is the buyer's obligation. If the buyers can break above this line, it's likely going to rip to the upside is what we refer to on the channel. Um, I don't think I have a target. Our targets are still the same um, in terms of where we see the markets going in the uh, short term or the midterm. Let's call it midterm because I do realize we went over Tesla being in a three month bullish cycle. I'm going to have to cancel that on this video. I don't even think we made a separate video about that. Yeah, we're going to have to cancel that. We'll get more into details, hopefully, um, at some point with the, an, an update for the three-day, uh, three-month bullish cycle. But what I'm looking at right now, okay, I did mention that we'll go over the level that it needs to stay above in order to accomplish the thumbnail, the $850, okay? This line at the lower line here is going to be at $655, the level that I think we nailed when we said Tesla will likely go to $655. Let me know down in the comment section. Has anyone else gone over that um, target before it actually went down? Down to 655 let me know I'm, I'm curious to know all right i think we know that call so as long as tesla can stay above 655 it's likely going to reach 855 dollars now this would be a short video what i need i need more price action okay uh we have not entered re-entered the market we did enter the market and we lost money on our contracts and i i think we did mention that i mean the contracts were worth less than uh wet toilet paper guys they were worthless okay we, we expired them worthless we didn't do anything with it okay uh, but we are looking to re-enter uh, we would love to enter at 655. Uh, hopefully, we'll give you guys a revisit at least once a week or as often as necessary because we I need three more weeks of price action in order to determine whether or not the 655 is going to take place. Uh, again, the overhead target, it's kind of the descending line, so it kind of changes uh, the longer it takes with the price action. These are three-day candles, by the way. So let's just give it, um, it's near the $656 level, like if it happens this week, which I don't think will happen, but this is Tesla. Let, let's let Tesla price action determine what's going to happen and not listen to me saying that I don't think something's going to happen. Guys, please don't use this as financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. Please have a strategy as you enter and exit the market. Nobody's going to take a stop loss. Nobody's going to take profits and uh, how much you're going to risk. Never risk more than you're comfortable uh, or uncomfortable with losing, okay? So that's that's it. This is a pretty short video. Uh, you have the levels, uh, 855 uh, target, uh, potential short term target. That's like a midterm target, not short term, midterm. OK, 655 must hold if it's going to continue to the downside. Again, I realize it's a down day, but it's, this looks is looking like an interesting buy in opportunity for me, not you. OK, and uh, yeah, let's give it three weeks. Hopefully this wasn't a long video. Hopefully this was of some useful information uh subscribe with us if you're new if you found some valuable information in the content uh lawyer subscribers leave an appropriate thumb in a comment just to support the channel we're going to cut it out here again I'll, I'll leave you guys an update within three weeks but i do need like three weeks of price action to determine this uh thumbnail so let's go ahead and close it out thank you for your time uh leave those thumbs and comments also before you go if you're new we cover the alternative markets i'm not sure if you're into bitcoin and all coins but of course subscribe with us hit the bell we'll send you that information when it's available and uh, yes, we covered everything. Yes, out we go. Take care of yourselves. Protect your portfolios. Execute your strategies. Okay. We're going to talk soon. Bye for now, guys.